we are down to the last three of my collaborations. I'm just realizing, I'm hoping that I'm doing my math right and I'm not leaving anyone out, but I'm realizing that I've collaborated so far with nine people. Real People, The Layabouts, Ralph Gum, Black Coffee, The Rhythm Sessions, Anati, D-Rock, um, D-Rock with Team Distant, Rabs, and then DJ Spoo. Who's gonna be the 10th person that I collaborate with? Who is gonna be number 10? Guys, let's, let's think about this. Let's deliberate. Is that the right word? I think so. Let's think about this. Who, who's the 10th person that I should collaborate with? Preferably for me, I'd want it to be like a South African artist only because I love the vibe and that's the house music capital and I am a soulful house singer, although I consider myself to just be versatile. So I do like R&B, soul, soulful house, jazz, trap. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do trap music, but who knows? Um, yeah, you guys put in the comments, let me know. Who should I collaborate with? And it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be a South African artist, although that's my preference. I love South Africa and I love South African artists. Um, just another level of creativity, I think. That's what I love about South African artists. Just another, a whole other level of creativity that I can appreciate. So let me know in the comment section who should be number 10. Lucky number 10. 10 is like endings, beginnings, prosperity, success. Who was number 10? Quite honestly, between you and I, guys, at one point, I had a couple of opportunities that didn't really fall through, but I really wanted to work, this should be another video, but since we're here, why not? I really wanted to work with Heavy K because I like the stuff that he's done. Um, I also like the style of Busiswa, um, but I don't know if she makes, I don't think she makes beats, that's the thing. So if, when it comes to collaborating with artists, the list is long. Um, I think Busiswa would be dope. Um, yeah, there's a few people that I would love to collaborate with. Um, but yeah, producer wise, like Heavy K, super dope. Um, Black Motion, we were in the works. They wanted to, once upon a time, they wanted me to do something for one of their albums. I think this was back in like 2015, 16. And they wanted me to sing something in Izulu. Or was it Gosa? They wanted me to sing something in Zulu. And I came up with something, something simple, because although I'm good with languages, I need like time to really get it. So, um, I sent them something and they liked it, but they were like, the um, the way you're pronouncing it is not right. So it never worked because I was pronouncing the words wrong or something, like the dialect was just off. And I'm usually really good with like accents and stuff, but girl, look, I was not hitting the spot. But I had a few opportunities that haven't really progressed. But the thing is, is this, life is long, right? You never know when the, the time will come to collaborate with the right people, you know? Chima Music is dope. Um, would definitely love to collaborate with him one of these days. Um, DJ Kent, super, super dope. Um, who else? There's a few others that are slipping my mind right now. I would love to do another collaboration with Black Coffee, like another Afrobeat, preferably when my voice is like perfect. Um, who else? There's another person that's just slipping my mind right now. Yeah. There's a few, there's a few that I think will be super dope. Anywho. Um, the three. We're doing the collaborations that I had with D-Rock, which is like my brother from another mother. Um, Rabs, 
I love and adore Rabs. And um, DJ Spoo, like, oh, excuse me, I was drinking this, a shake. So I worked out earlier today, so I had to kind of, I need to eat. Um, and DJ Spoo, like, the ultimate big brother. Um, so we'll start with D-Rock. So D-Rock um, approached me with the collaboration idea because he was working with a duo out of Botswana, I believe, by the name of Team Distant. Super dope, super fun. When I met one of the guys from Team Distant, it was in the studio. We were actually at Rab's um, studio recording um, the song with D-Rock. And um, I wasn't living in South Africa then, but I was down there for a tour. So the time that I was there, we kind of fit in, um, fit in the, the recording. Um, and I actually had to extend my stay as well because then Rabs um, sent me a beat that I absolutely could not resist. So I'm like, I can do this, but I need my trip to be extended because I have to leave in like a day. So the trip was extended, long story short, but D-Rock and Team Distance, it's cool because I met one of the guys from Team Distant and I was busting his bubble. It was so fun <laughs> because he did something to the beat, like the beat wasn't the beat that I wrote to. So when he played the beat to me, I was like, what in the hell is this? Why is this beat different? Like I was like giving him a hard time. And um, we finally got it figured out and worked out and um it was good working with them man like i said d rock is super cool like he's like family and he's just super professional and just a nice guy from what i you know from what i've seen everybody is is cool with me everybody's nice like everybody's nice you know good vibes all around so the collaboration with D-Rock and Team Distant, I think, was was great. I didn't meet the entire Team Distant group crew. I met one guy, and I think he played a lot of the instruments in the track. And by the way, I'm sorry, I didn't name the song. The, the song is one of my favorite songs on this planet Earth called Love and Life. Oh, life, never know it be so sweet. Mm. Take it from my ultimate fantasy. Came so far, I can't believe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something like that. Anyway. Yeah, I love that song. Life. Mm. I'm no longer the only one. Mm. Bear the fruit and now I can share a song. So much better when it's shared. When do you care? Yes, I know. I have to sing it a cappella. I can't get too loud. I live in an apartment, so I can't be singing my neighbors at a house and home, but yes, I know. Oh, I love that song so much. It's so romantic. It's like a romantic song. Like, I think, as a matter of fact, I know. I've discovered that the songs that I write, especially the ones that are about, like, love, like, hope, like, good love, not, like, heartbreak, but, like, things that are about good love, it's like me manifesting like my ultimate soulmate, like my ultimate man, someone that makes me feel like that because, I'm sorry, this is a really weird segue, but I'm just gonna get real, real quick. So far in my life as an adult woman, I've never met or dealt with anybody like dating wise that made me feel like the way that I sing. Does that make sense? Like I've never met or dealt with someone who made me feel like, Never knew it'd be so sweet. Like really sweet and like, there's nothing but wonder in the world, you know? And I don't even know if that's a real feeling, if that's how, I don't even know if that's real or if it's just an illusion. You know what I mean? If it's something I'm just making up in my mind, which is like the ultimate, like, the ultimate man, the ultimate relationship, the ultimate this, that, and the other, that could all just be bullshit, but I don't know it, you know? What I do know about relationships is that it should not be drama filled. That is what I do know. I do know that a drama should, a relationship should not um, cause you stress. It shouldn't cause you 
um, insecurity and it shouldn't cause unnecessary drama. Like you're gonna have issues in a relationship, but it's not gonna be like baggage issue or he's fucking another woman. Sorry guys, I got vulgar, but you know what I mean? Like it's not gonna be that kind of drama. It's gonna be more, it's not gonna be bullshit. You know, so anyways, back to my collaboration, sorry. Back to my collaborations, working with D-Rock and Team Distant, amazing. Like I love the song, I love the beat. It was an amazing experience. I really wish that we, I know it's not too late, but I would love to do like a music video for that song. Preferably like a Durban or something, just because it's just such a beautiful song. And I feel like if there's no music video for it, I do feel like it'll go to waste. I really do because people are visual. They wanna see, sorry. People are visual. They want to kind of see who singing, what you look like, this, that, and the other. And if they don't have that visual, then it's kind of hard to kind of make the song pop. Let's be clear. All right. But it was an amazing experience overall. Next, Rabs Vafui. I think I said it right. Oh my God. Rabs, don't kill me if I butchered your last name. You know, I just call you Rabs. Um, when I met Rabs, I met Rabs when I was um, recording with D-Rock. But I met Rabs before, but not in person because me and DJ Spoo have been talking about collaborating for like ever. So I met him through DJ Spoo, but I didn't know anything about him because it was like through like email and stuff. So when I finally met Rabs in person, it was when I was in South Africa on tour and I was there to record the song with D-Rock and Team Distant. And the vibe that I got from Rabs is that, cause I really didn't know a lot about him. I know that he's a dope producer, especially now, but I know that he's really, really popular um, in SA and just super dope, but like, for me, I don't know every every artist, you know, so I kind of feel a little ignorant not knowing who who and what he did. But after meeting him, just his personality was such a nice, like warm, personable person, just very honest and kind. He has a very, very kind disposition and a very kind face, like super sweet. Like I have a special place in my heart for Rabs because he's just, he's a really nice guy. He really is a really good guy. So when I met, Rabs, it was just like instant, like instant vibes. Like he's cool, I'm cool, like yeah. So when he sent me the beat and I liked it, I was like, well, yeah, we have to work because number one, I like you as a person. Number one, you're dope. So yes, let's do it. Let's do the song. And you know, that that's how it works. When you meet people in person and they like you as a person, then you wanna work with them, you know? So, and of course the beat was freaking hot, hot sauce. So the song that I did with Rabs is called um, For Your Love. Ooh, that song's dope too. Your love takes my up on the sky. Don't let me down. Mm -hmm. Y'all. See, I'm trying to contain from singing because the acoustics in my place and then I can get loud and I'm just trying not to go there. But then I feel like I'm just like doing myself dirty because I'm not showing y'all that I can fucking sing my ass off. You know what I mean? So I'm like, do I need to prove myself or should I just be quiet for my neighbors? I think I'll be quiet for my neighbors. There's no need to prove myself. I'm dope. Um, you got to stroke your own. You got to stroke it. If you don't, who will, right? But anyways, yeah, so we did a song called For Your Love. Super dope. One of my favorite songs. One of my favorite. Just because the beat is like... When I think about that beat, it's like this warrior spirit beat. Like I can already see the video right now. I could see it. I could see the video vividly. And I would tell y'all the story that I have, but I don't want nobody taking my shit. So I'm gonna keep it to myself. But um, I could definitely see the whole storyline of that video. Just really dope, seductive, sexy, powerful. I would love to do a video for that song too. Would love it. But guys, it really comes down to budget. Like there needs to be a budget. And for me, I'm an independent artist. I'm not signed to no label. I get paid like quarterly from like my writer's royalties, but sometimes it's not a lot. So as an artist, an independent artist, you're coming out of your pocket 
or you have to come out your pocket for certain things like videos and things like that sort. And it's just like, I don't have the funds for that. Like I still have to like pay my high ass rent and you know, live my life and eat. You know, so I need to figure out a way to bring in some more income so that I can start doing videos because that's really, really important. It just is, you know, it's like you can't really be a musical artist without music videos. It's crazy. Anyways, okay, enough of that rant. Working with Ravs was amazing. Absolutely loved working with him. Love our song together. Hopefully we can do a video. That would be dope. Last but certainly not least, because we're already 15 minutes in. Damn it. I probably should have kept DJ Spoo for last, like separately, but we're here now. Hi, DJ Spoo, when I met him, I met him and I was out, I think, did I meet, did he interview me? Did he interview me or did we meet, um, damn, I forget when and how we met. I think, I think we met while I was living there, but I like Spoo, he's a hustler, man. He's a hustler. That man is about his business, he's about protecting and providing for his family, he's about his coin, which everybody needs to be about their coin because unfortunately in this life, you need money to, to live, so you gotta be serious about your coin so you can sustain yourself, right? But when I met Spoo, um, it was an instant camaraderie because He's a Gemini like me, my fellow Gemini brother. And he's just super cool and a hustler. And I love that about him. He's just a hustler. And I can appreciate that. Um, he has a hustler spirit and just a hustler, hustler grind. But anyways, um, him and I were in the talks for a minute about collaborating. A minute. Um, and then we finally collaborated in 2000 and... 17 I think 17 on the song called beautiful which I absolutely am obsessed with it has like this Nigerian afro beat like this island beat Ugh. that one needs a video too so if you're watching this um spoo let's get a video done let's do it somewhere like in Durban or like Cape Town or something you know what I mean like come on like a nice coastal vibe will be really really good um so yeah, when I wrote that song, I was, I wrote it when I was living in South Africa, but I didn't record it until after I left South Africa and I spent some time in Kenya, Nairobi. So I was in Kenya for about a year. I was in South Africa for two years. I moved there in 2015. I left 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I left in 2017. And then I recorded Beautiful in Nairobi um, and then just sent it over. So Spoo and who else? Is there anybody else that I didn't really have like a, cause I was in the studio with real people, Layabouts, Ralph Gum, Black Coffee, The Rhythm Sessions, Anati, d Rotten. Yeah, the only person that I wasn't in the studio with was DJ Spoo, which I'm sure that would be a great experience. Like. We've, of course, like, met when I was living in South Africa. Like, he was the ultimate, like, host. Just amazing. But working with him in a studio, we never worked together in a studio. I recorded that song in Kenya, and then I sent it over to him. And then he did the edits and all that stuff. Him and his team. So, yeah. I guess that's just one person that I think, if him and I collaborate again... Now I'm living back in the States, so I don't know how likely it'll be, but I would love to record with him, like have him in the studio while we like record. I think that would be amazing because there's just a different vibe. Although the song came out amazing, but I would love to be with him in a studio and record because it's just, you know, it just makes sense to me. Um, so yeah, if we do collaborate again, I would love to share a studio with him. I think that'll be dope. But anyways, I went well over my time. I went in for 20 minutes, which I should have just kept it down to five, 10 minutes, but I did three people in one, so I guess it makes sense. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the end of my collaborations. Again, let me know in the comment section who the 10th person should be. Like, let me know.
All right, bye.